Nearly half of young Americans are not saving for retirement. New poll by Jen Forward with this information. Look at these numbers. 48% of people between the ages of 18 and 30 have zero in retirement savings and no access to a traditional pension. Only 7% of everybody in that age group said, yep, I'll get a pension. Obviously, pensions becoming much more rare. 53% of people said it would be very difficult for them to pay an unexpected bill of $1,000 mm -hmm. right away. I will say, I don't know that that's a generational thing. No. When no. I was in that age, like, I don't think I could have handled the $1,000 yeah. emergency expense. This is either. a huge age range, though. You think about 18 to 30, big differences in where you are in your life. Yeah, obviously, 18 to 22 year olds still in school mm -hmm. for sure. So let's look at 25 to 30 okay. year olds. How, More how than four in 10 have zero oh, for retirement. No. So it's almost the same. There's no movement that happens within that wow. age range. Nobody's saving for retirement. Well, this could be a couple of things. That age range specifically, 25 to 30, a lot of times these people were coming right out of college and maybe we're still in the recession. Jobs weren't as easy to come by. But also, I, I think people in this age, we always hear these stories about how millennials are spending more on vacations, they're spending mm. uh, more uh, on, on gifts and things sure. like that. So maybe they're just prioritizing things differently. I'm going to spend my money on experiences mm -hmm. rather than spend my money on saving for the future. And I think you see that too when people are choosing maybe jobs first over careers, maybe putting off that career track in order to travel and to uh -huh. do things like take time off. So when you're looking at just like, okay, like I'm just going to get a job that's, you know, maybe a server, just kind of a part-time worker, they don't always offer those 401k benefits. That. I right. think that's what we're seeing, not necessarily yeah. this choice to spend money on certain things and not on retirement, but it's the fact that people in this age group are not finding jobs that even come with this benefit or not choosing to go into careers yeah. like this. I will say it is encouraging that more employers are starting to kind of, instead of say, when you start a job, you sign up, you have to opt in to oh, yeah. a 401k, more and more, employers are automatically enrolling people. So Vanguard says 41% of employers that they run plans for okay. are auto-enrolling new people into a 401. I think that's really good. Mm -hmm. Like that that initial meeting where you start a job and you have all this healthcare information, yeah. your retirement, it, it can be really overwhelming. And if they're just making the right choice for yeah. you, especially if you're 22, I, 23. I remember being 22 and they handed me all these folders and they're like, here's, here, choose options. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, what does yeah. all this mean? I don't think that there's a lot of information out there from employers, even to their employees about, okay, this is exactly what this means. So if they can just automatically enroll you, the compound interest from when you're 22 to 30 much much better even if you're just doing a little bit it's still not enough I mean if they enroll you at 3% <laughs> that is not going to be enough for you to retire but at least it's something yeah whereas right now people have nothing. almost 50% of people going with nothing wow. mm.